Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Cardiff Security. We are back at CAS HQ with our car and coffee events. The first one of 2023. It's mid-Feb, a little bit cold outside, and today's event is bring whatever you want. Over 60 cars, the car park is rammed. And so is the shop as well. So, as always, we'll go in the car park, show you some of the cars, maybe grab two or three people, have a little chat about their cars and the journey. So you know what guys, let's get into it. So yes, today's event is our season opener. And I've got to say, what a mix of cars we have. You can see behind me, JDM, Toyota, we got Volkswagen, uh, Hillman Imp on this side, we've got three JDMs, Honda, Mitsubishi Evo, we've got Subaru there, Porsches galore, another Porsche GT4 there, Mercedes, you know what, let's see what else is here, Nick's Ferrari Testarossa. So we worked on this car late last year, complete audio install, this is an absolute brute of a car. In fact, we'll get Nick at some point and get him to start it up and you can hear this thing. It's an absolute animal. Love these three together. I think we should do a JDM event at some point. We've not hosted a JDM event here at Cass HQ. And just to have three all blue, amazing Japanese cars. Hmm. JDM event soon. Watch this space. W124 coupe, lovely E39. I think it's a 540i, belongs to a good customer of ours called Pritz. I think we should get him on the channel, let him talk about his car. The paintwork on this car is immaculate. GT4 RS, see what I mean? Proper mix of cars today, check that out. Lovely C63. And when that rocked in, it sounded sweet. See what I mean, proper mix of cars. E30, you know, 356. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but that does look like a 356. A bit of a hot rod. Looks amazing. I've got my big boy toy out today as well. Uh, my 992 GT3, which I have now completed the running miles in. So she is ready to open up. So at some point, we will get that on the channel and I'll be redlining that thing. A few dogs here as well. We are dog friendly here at CAS. There's another pooch over there. And this thing here. Look at this. So, this is my good friend Jayesh. Hi. Classic, classic car diaries. He, uh, give him a follow. Details are on the screen. He just acquired this recently, and I've got to say, it looks stunning. So, tell the guys, tell our audience. So, what, what, is we, it? Have, what we have here is a 1979 Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40. 4.2 uh, litre engine, flat six. Come on, have a look. Is it open? Yeah. Guys, just check that out. You've got to climb in there, Raj. <laughs> oh, quite deep. Oh. There you go. <laughs> there we are. Four Toyota. speed box? Three speed. Three speed box. Three speed. Three dog speed, dog speed leg. box. Three speed dog leg, yeah? Dog leg. <laughs> so, dog leg to make it complicated, and then yeah. it's three speed. And then it's three speed. And top speed like 70 miles an hour? No, no, no. 60. Sorry. Probably 60. Probably 60. Okay. Yeah. I've never seen one of these. So, does this pop out? Does yeah, this front so, section pop so, out? So, yeah, so you unscrew these. Yeah. And then this, that'll fold, fold over. And apparently the guys are saying that this whole thing comes off, but I, I don't see how that comes off, this whole roof thing. I, th I think we need to I do that. So. I think we need to do that at some point. Experiment, yeah. Yeah, just to see what it can do. <laughs> this thing's great. This thing's great. It's, it's a lot of fun, down. actually. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. It's right. probably one of my favorite cars. Right, guys, make sure you give Jesh a follow. Classic Car Diaries, he has an interesting collection of cars. Let's carry on walking, talking, and seeing what other cars are in the car park. Let's carry on uh, walking, talking, and showing you what's in the car park. Another E30 325i, obviously well known for E30s here. Over my left shoulder, 
lovely theatre bath. Very, very, very rare. Again, this belongs to Nixing Sohota, Alpina, B10, four litre, fantastic number plate. If you don't know who Nick is, details on the screen, give him a follow, amazing collection of cars. Guys, just check out this interior. Just look at that. You can tell this car's had some serious love. We have another five series here, but with a different look, stanced out. Um, Check out the size of the, the dishes on the back wheels. Check this out. Clean, super clean. With a 3.2 V6 lump. Look at that. And that's the thing today. It is a proper mixed bag of cars. I have no idea what this is. I know it's on hydros because he came in all doing his stuff and obviously showcasing it here. So we'll try and get him on the channel. I think his name's Umar. We'll try and get him on the channel. Mutual Argo. Everyone loves a Lambo, don't they? 458, around the front. Bagged R8. Another mix of cars. Porsche, Mercedes, W124. Another car that Nick's brought down. If he had his way, he'd fill the whole car park up with his own cars. Continental GTC. And a little lone wolf in the corner. There were a few other cars parked here. 190E bag slammed on the floor. So you can see guys today, proper mix of cars. Now, I think it's time we grab two or three owners and have a quick chat with them. So a car that I've actually seen quite a few times at CAS, some of our previous events, this E39 540i. And we've yet to get Pritz on the channel and somehow <laughs> I've managed to twist his arm and he's, he's smirking and laughing. <laughs> Thanks for coming Pritz. No worries. Uh, you're very familiar with our car and coffee events. Yeah, And I'm yeah. Sh sure you've seen me ask a few questions. So I'm gonna do the same thing to you. Lovely car, very, very, very clean. Now this has been painted. Wow, original paint. Yeah, it's a Japanese import, so it's very right. low mileage, but hence the reason why. It okay, is quite yeah, Japanese cars tend to be very yeah. well kept and very well maintained. Yeah. Uh, Suspension-wise, what, what are you running? Uh, Early 3H. Okay. It's got all upgraded poly bushes, new suspension arms. Do you find that's a little bit stiff with the poly bushes, or is it's, that the way you wanted it? It's it's not too bad because I've gone for the softer compound ones. Okay. Um, so it, it's pretty much like OEM. Um, it's obviously, I think, dependent on your driving style, you kind of need to adjust it and set it up to how you find it comfortable, really, but... You set it up for fast road use, I'm assuming? Yeah, so the car, like, when it's at ride height, it's literally at factory height, so you could drive it however you want to drive it. Wheels? But wheels are Haman PG1s. It's a very good look, it just looks so super clean. Interior stock, black leather interior. Yep. Again, as you said, low miles, so I'm sure yeah. Yeah, you can see how clean that is. Your controller is mounted in the centre armrest. That's a nice little touch. Yep. It's a lovely car, I've got to say. You, you've looked after this. You've had this for a while now, haven't you? Uh, this one I've had for about three years. The one previously, I had it for about 10. Yeah, this one, I've, I've done quite a fair bit to it in a short period of time. You know, this just looks fantastic. Simple and clean. Well done, mate. Credit to you. Fantastic looking car. Cheers. Thanks, Rex. Thanks for coming down as always, yeah? Good kid, thank you. Go on, Lee. Start it up, give it some beans. Guys, I showed you this 356 earlier on, and I've just spoken to the owner, John. It is a real 356. He actually said to me, he doesn't do copies, which is really nice to hear. So John, thanks for coming. No worries. Thanks for inviting us. <laughs> this is lovely. And Thank I you. love the fact it's a hot rod. Yes, yeah, it's, there's not a lot original, apart from the body, 
gearbox, so engine, and the bits you, that count. Have you done all the work, or did you buy the car as no, is? No, I've done everything on the car. Front end, bumper's gone, fairly obviously. Bumper mount holes welded up. Is this an American import, is this? Uh, no, it's a German car that right. went to Japan, and then it came from Japan to me. Marshall spotlights, no hood mechs and the I things as per the I, race cars. I love this touch. Custom paint, so the paint is um, actually a Nissan colour, it's Nissan Pewter. Why not? Exactly. Front suspension is basically the standard type of suspension, but then it's been altered to get it this low. Yeah, yeah, this is right out. This, this is, is how it right And it, it's as comfortable as hell and doesn't hit anything. I would drive this to Germany this afternoon. It is so comfortable, it's ridiculous. So, four properly. Speed, four speed box? Four speed, yeah, four speed manual. It's good for about 70 miles an hour and okay. then it gets a bit, well, it gets a bit loud apart from anything else. At the back end, we've got all the bumpers have gone, dimples have gone, all the back ends totally reshaped and redone. And then inside really is where everything's really changed. Is it so, open? yeah, yeah, it's open. So, That's apart lovely. from the water bottle and all the dirt, so motor leads a steering wheel, speeds to seats, period gauges for temperature internal and outside. The original tag hood clocks, Matt Reader's lights, period, fire extinguisher there. So yeah, it's it's as I wanted to build it, which is how I build well, all that's, my stuff. That's the way yeah. it should be. On the fact yeah. that you say you, you actually drive it, and I'm assuming you drive it as hard as you can. I drive it a lot. I don't drive fast. I'm not a fast driver, but um, you don't need to drive this fast. You're sat on the floor and, you know, if you use the gearing, you get out of three, three and a half thousand revs. It's wonderful anyway, so you don't need to. But yeah, and we drive it a lot. I mean, I've done two hours here, Bath. So, you come from Bath? Yeah, two hours in the horrible, sticky motorway this morning. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't raining. Appreciate you coming down. No Thank you very much. Lovely <laughs> My car. pleasure. And I'm actually glad that it's, it's not a fake. It's authentic. No, no, it is. But well, if you want to know a real one ever, top, there you go, guys. Top, top tip. If you ever want to know a real one, so a real one has the handbrake underneath the dashboard and it's like an umbrella and the centre tunnel is flat and low, not like a beetle. So if you ever sat there and wonder whether it's a real one, that's how you tell. And if somebody's gone to the levels of doing that, then fair play to them. Well, there you go. Lessons <laughs> on a, a three, five, work. six. Thank you very much for coming no down. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is just fantastic. So we found the owner, Uma. Uma, thanks for coming. No worries, man. Uh, Uma, I have no idea <laughs> what this is. So first of all, educate me and the audience. What is this? All right, guys, this is a 1979 Oldsmobile Cutlass. Its name is a Lowrider Left 4 Dead. So it's got hydraulics and it's got six batteries in the back, three pumps. And right now, as you can see, it's doing a three wheel. Um, to be able to do this, it has to be reinforced everywhere. So that's the most expensive part, getting it reinforced. Getting did, it did you buy the car as is or did you modify it? So I bought the car as it is, but not being able to three wheel. So I had to get that rebuilt. Um, I had a friend up north called Pete from Day and Play. Make sure to check them out. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, he, so he made, he made sure to get all redone, uh, reserviced and everything like that. Cause it's been a while. Uh, previous owner said he, he bought it from a scrapyard. So he's been sitting in the scrapyard, the guy took it in, he bought it, and then he just, after a while, he kept it for 10 years. And hasn't worked on it after that, just decided to go all out on it. Yeah. Well, you drove it here this morning, yeah. didn't you? Where did you yeah. come from? So I live in Harrow. Okay, it's so not, not far, that far, not but far. you drove it here. Interesting interior too as well. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> we'll, a very unique we'll show interior. show you the interior. I think you need to show us what it yeah, does sure. really, to be fair. Yeah, that's what the guys do. are going to be saying. Come on, we need to see it. So maybe pull it a little bit forward and let's yeah, see it yeah. do some tricks. Yeah, sure. Should be cool. So Uma, what does it feel like sitting it with all that happening, with all this going on? What? Yeah, so it's it's just very bouncy. I think so I should get inside, into it. I think I should get into off. it. So Uma, I'm gonna jump in. Let's let's see what this this is about. <laughs> right, Whoop, handle door handle. Right, let's go. Ready? What the? <laughs> What the? <laughs> this is worse than a roller coaster. 
<laughs> right, that's enough. I'm going to feel sick. <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uma, thank you very no much. Worries. Well, that's really made my day. Thank you. No worries. Uma's details are here. Make sure you give him a follow. That was insane. Right guys, our first cars and coffee event of 2023. And I've got to say, it's been an all out smash. What a day. Great speaking to some of the car owners here. And as I said earlier on, it's nice to have a proper full on mix of cars. Guys, thanks for watching. You know what to do. Smash that like button. Events now, our next event will be end of March. We haven't confirmed the date as of yet, but by the time the video goes out, if you go to Car Discovery website, click on the events tab, we'll have the date for our BMW event in March. And we've also set the date for our Mercedes event in April. So we will be having one event a month from February through to December. So yeah, cardiscurity.com forward slash events. Uh, check the, that page for all our future events and some of our post events. Um, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry about that. We don't, we don't want that here, guys, by the way, yeah? So if you do come to one of our events, please, none of that nonsense. What was your car of the show? Now, we've shown you a lot of cars today. For me, I think, I think it's gotta be the 356. And the fact that you know it's an authentic 356 and he's made it his own, hot rodded it, and he's done most of the work himself, I think that's a fantastic story. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I always say this at the end of an episode, but make sure you subscribe to the channel because that way you'll know when we drop new content. I'll see you again soon. Cheers, guys.